caller. You're live on the air. What's your name, comment, and or question? This Hi, it's John from Mississippi. John, my dude from Mississippi. What's on your mind, man? Uh, just listening to your last comments there. And one thing that's kind of bothered me for a while is that, uh, and it's not just in America, but it's heavily prevalent in America, and it's kind of human nature, in that uh, we don't see, just like we have a problem with scapegoating, there's, there's another problem that's pretty deep, in that we seek out retribution mm-hmm. more than we do accountability. Ah. And we don't bother to separate the two. Mm, break that down for us. It sounds like you got a, a nice little piece of piece of thought right there. Break that down. Uh, well, because you know, like, what what is the purpose of government? Like, what? How does it benefit society? It benefits society by by acting as arbitrator mm-hmm. between conflicting parties, so that mm-hmm. things can be resolved peacefully. But when you talk about execution, you're not doing that. You're using it as as an arm to inflict your morality mm-hmm. on someone else to the point that, that you're physically harming them. And, and I think it kind of violates a, a core part of us, a core part of our psyche uh, when we do that. And, and it's, it causes a lot of internal conflict, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, both in how we, how we treat each other and, and beyond. I, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you. It, 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 it does present a, it presents a problem um it 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 presents it's a great challenge thanks for the call man it and and let me just the the challenge is this is that it's easy for us to seek revenge and for us to want to use the arm of the law to extract that revenge it's easy and it appeals to our base nature right it's in us it's the natural inclination is to get revenge and most of us can sit back when it isn't something that touches our doorsteps and be progressive. And that's really what I'm talking about is that it's easy to be progressive when it doesn't affect you. It's easy to be anti-war. It's easy to be uh, anti-death uh, penalty when it doesn't directly affect you. But when it directly affects you or when it gets close enough to when it gets close enough to you where you can literally put yourself in that position and see the scene i know i've never been to that church but i know what their what their their bible study hall looks like i know exactly about the wood paneling that's on the walls in the basement i know about the little the mismatched chairs that are go around the table i know exactly what the pastor probably was wearing compared to what he wears on a normal sunday I, I know the mother, the, 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 the woman who was 87 years old, the, one, the, the people who are in their 70s, and the, I know them in the sense that, that I've been in those exact seats, those mismatched chairs. I've been there. I know them. I know the love they show Dylan Roof, and I know the amount of hate that is required to kill people like that after they express that amount of love to you. So when it comes close to your doorsteps, you have to ask yourself the question, can I still be true to what I believe? Now, if you just believe in the death penalty, this is easy for you, right? If you don't have a problem with the death penalty, this is easy for you. But when you consider the number of people that we execute incorrectly, you have to consider the fact that it's an institution that needs to come to an end. And if we're willing to support it for somebody as 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 worthy of death as Dylan Roof, then we are under my, we're, we're, we're supporting it for people who are innocent. That's a difficult challenge. It's not easy to be true to what you believe, but I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Maybe if I called them on the streets, maybe I, you know, maybe it would be something else. But in terms of our, of our government, our government should not be in the business of executing people. One, because we don't have the moral ground to stand on. And two, we get it wrong so many times. And when we get it wrong, we get it wrong with people of color. Look at the look at the Supreme Court just uh, just this week, just this week, overturned a decision uh, uh, a death penalty case because of the jury was all white. Right. Look at how many different ways we can get it wrong based on race. Right. We can get it. We can get it wrong based on gender. We can get it based wrong, wrong based on class and people can get off based on their economic uh, their economic privilege. So there's so many factors that go into play into this that I believe that if we support it for one, 
we're actually doing ourselves a disservice and supporting it for all. So even though I can completely put myself, immerse myself into the basement of Mother Emmanuel Church um, and I can see the people, I can tell you, I can tell you the type of, I can tell you a lot of stuff about them. Because that's where, that's, that's the type of environment that I grew up in. Right. And I can identify with the 26 year old who was who was trying to do something positive and trying to do something uh, to help the pastor build the church. And he was tweeting out. He was on Instagram, Instagramming pictures directly from Bible study right before he was killed. I can relate with them enough to feel anger over this. And so the question remains, once it crosses your intersection, are you going to be true to yourself? Are you going to. uh, let your anger take over you and let that dictate how you behave or let that dictate how you support policies from your government. Cause I can't promise you, I couldn't promise you I would be the better man if I saw Dylan Roof in real life. Um, I will just say that in terms of our federal government, that's a business that we need to get out of because of every reason that I outlined so far. Folks, I have not taken a moment to tell you about the show. We are streaming on iHeartRadio, or I'm sorry, you can catch a recording of this uh, on iHeartRadio at the end of the show. It would be there. Of course, we're on uh, iTunes. We're on Spreaker. We're on Stitcher. Anywhere that you can get a podcast, you can get it there. After the radio show, internet radio show ends, it is archived in at least 10 different places. Make sure that you subscribe, follow, click the subscribe button at the bottom. Make sure that you uh, share, like, make sure you spread the word about the Benjamin Dixon show. If you like what you see and you see what you like, I want you to go over to patreon.com forward slash the BPD show um, and become a patron. I want to thank two patrons that came on board tonight, but I don't have enough time to pull up your names. I saw somebody. Uh, his name was Benjamin. Benjamin, thank you for uh, pledging right before the show started. Uh, there's another. I think it was Alex. Alex, thank you so much for your pledge. Um, even if you're only pledging a dollar. Support the Benjamin Dixon Show. We're getting close to 10,000 subscribers. I think we'll definitely be there, if not by the end of this week, by next week. So we're going to have a little celebration when we hit the 10,000 mark. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers on Spreaker. And um, we're over 12, 14, 13, I don't know where we are on Twitter. It's growing. And it's only growing because of you. I cannot do it without you. So support the Benjamin Dixon Show. I got home extremely late last night. I'm still on three hours of sleep. Traffic in Boston, even right now, is backed up. So that means I need to play this closing music and get the hell out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The Benjamin Dixon Show is only possible with listener support. Go to www.thebenjamindixonshow.com to register for our blog, join the Progressive Army, and support The Benjamin Dixon Show. If you like this episode, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash the BPD show and support the Benjamin Dixon show.